It's good to be back. Doesn't look like much has changed. <laughs> The accuser. What's he doing here? He is presenting himself before God. Where have you come from? I've been patrolling the earth, watching everything that's going on. What does he want? What do you think of my servant Job? No one on earth is like him. He is a truly good person who respects me and refuses to do evil. Yes, but Job has good reason to fear God. You've always put a wall of protection around him and his home and his property. You've made him prosper in everything he does. Look how rich he is. But reach out and take away everything he has and he will surely curse you to your face. All right. You may test him. Do whatever you want with everything he possesses, but do not harm him physically. I'm so sorry, Phoebe. Phoebe's father was a great man. We'll miss him terribly. Please, come in. Professor Quantum, how's Chris? Losing his grandpa has been very hard for him. They meant the world to each other. Chris is out back. Why don't you go see him, Joy? Please, everybody come in. Chris's grandpa. <sighs> Joy, this has been the worst week of Chris's life. It all started when he took the classroom's pet iguana home for vacation, and it ran away. No! Then, the storm of the year hit Valley View Wednesday night, and a tree crashed through Chris's bedroom roof, breaking his arm. Uh... Then, you know all the money Chris had been saving from his paper route? It got stolen from him when he was on his way to put it in the bank. Everything that could possibly go wrong is going wrong, Joy. Now the worst thing of all is Grandpa died. Sorry about your Grandpa. Why are all these bad things happening to me when I try so hard to be good? Chris, sometimes... I'm just gonna stop trying. My Grandpa died. Chris, I have searched everywhere, Ricky, and... Oh, no. Super book! Let me stay behind so I can find the classes equal. I am taking you to meet a man who lost everything he had while his faith in God was put to the test. Oxen! 
500 yoke of oxen. Stolen. Too bad. And now the outlook is cloudy. With a chance of fire! Oh man, my week can't get any worse than this! My deal with God was not to harm Job, but he never said anything about his sons and daughters. From master! Him. Master! What is it? What is happening? The oxen were plowing and the donkeys feeding beside them when the Sabaeans raided them and took them away. Indeed, they have killed the servants with the edge of the sword, and I alone have escaped to tell you. Master! My master! The fire of God fell from heaven and burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them, and I alone have escaped to tell Three you. Three gangs of Chaldeans attacked and stole your camels. All of your other servants were killed, and I'm the only one who escaped to tell your you. Your sons and daughters were feasting in their oldest brother's home. Suddenly, the powerful wind swept in from the wilderness and hit the house on all sides. The house collapsed, and all your children are dead. No. I'm the only one who escaped oh, to tell children. you. children! <laughs> <laughs> Why has this happened? <laughs> the Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord! He should be angry with God for what has happened, but instead he praises him. the master of the house have anything to spare a weary traveler? Sadly, my master is in mourning and has lost everything he had. There is barely enough for the members of the household. Is this true? He lost everything in one day. His family, his fortune. I mean, I have stuff that's happened to me. Really bad stuff. That God has allowed to happen? <sighs> How can God do that? Job must surely hate God now. That's the amazing part. With everything that's happened, he still praises God. This cannot be. No one loses their fortune, their family, everything in this world. It does not turn to God to blame or ask why. God, Job will yet deny you. From 
where do you come? From going to and fro on the earth, and from walking back and forth on it. Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man, and he holds fast to his integrity? Skin for skin. Yes, all that a man has he will give for his life. There's no pain like your own. People will do anything to stay alive. Try striking Job's own body with pain, and he will curse you to your face. What? God will let the accuser do this? Behold, he is in your hand, but spare his life. <laughs> Job will feel so much pain. He will curse God for giving him the very breath of life. Do you still hold fast to your integrity? Curse God and die. You talk like a foolish woman. <laughs> Should we accept only good things from the hand of God and never anything bad? Is a person proved innocent just by plant trouble and cultivate evil? Consider the joys of those corrected by God. Do not despise the discipline of the Almighty when you sin. It was sure nice of Job's friends to come and see him. Yes, but with friends like that, who needs enemies? Stop assuming my guilt, for I have done no wrong. Do you think I am lying? Don't I know the difference between right and wrong? He made your children pay for their sins. So why don't you turn to him and start living right? We know God doesn't reject an innocent person or help a sinner. Surrender your heart to God. Turn to him in prayer and give up your sins. You simply must repent. Do you think that's why those bad things were happening to me, Joy? Because I did something wrong? I know as much as you do. You are no better than I am. As for me, I would speak directly to the Almighty. I want to argue my case with God himself. As for you, you smear me with lies. Job, we're here this to is help absurd. you. Sir, we, we tried to speak to you and, and make sense to As you, Joe. As physicians, you are worthless quacks. If only you could be silent, that's the wisest thing you could what? do. What are you talking about? Job is not listening. We should not even have come. Oh God, grant me these two things and then I will be able to face you. Remove your heavy hand from me and don't terrify me with your awesome presence. Now summon me and I will answer. Or let me speak to you and you reply. Tell me what have I done wrong?
Job? With all the bad things that are happening, do you still believe there is a God who is looking out for you? I wish that my words could be written down or chiseled into a rock. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and he will stand upon the earth at last. My flesh may be destroyed, yet from this body I will see God. Yes, I will see him with my own eyes, and I am overwhelmed at the thought. You remind me a lot of my grandfather. He believed like you do. But it's clear he must have sinned, so he should have asked forgiveness from God. Aren't you going to say goodbye to Job? Say goodbye for us. If I were Job, I would defriend them so fast. What's up? Looks like Job's friends are leaving. Yeah, they kept saying that Job was guilty and God was punishing him, but he kept claiming he was innocent. And now... so much when you know so little. Now get ready to face me. Can you answer the questions I ask? How did I lay the foundation for the earth? Were you there? Doubtless you know who decided its length and width. What supports the foundation? Who placed the cornerstone while the morning stars sang and angels rejoiced? When the ocean was born, I set its boundaries and wrapped it in blankets of thickest fog. Then I built a wall around it, locked the gates and said, your powerful waves stop here. They go no further. I am the Lord All-Powerful, but you have argued that I am wrong. Now you must answer me. I know that you can do anything, and no one can stop you. You asked, who is this that questions my wisdom with such ignorance? It is I, and I was talking about things I knew nothing about things far too wonderful for me. I had only heard about you before, but now I have seen you with my own eyes. I take back everything I said, and I sit in dust and ashes to show my repentance. servant Job has said about me is true, but I am angry at you and your two friends for not telling the truth. So I want you to go over to Job and offer seven bulls and seven goats on an altar as a sacrifice to please me. After this, Job will pray, and I will agree not to punish you for your foolishness. Job never lost his faith in God. Job, we were wrong! We will pray with you! Let us come and pray with you! The Lord you. has asked us to... 
a sacrifice with you. Forgive us, please. Here on Earth, you will have many trials and sorrows. But take heart, because I have overcome the world. Chris, it's Iggy! Get him, Giz! starting to get better already. Yeah. Maybe I need to start working on a little of Job's faith in God when things go bad for me. And that's not all. What do you mean? There's a little something else Job taught me. I know that my Redeemer lives, and he will stand upon the earth at last. My flesh may be destroyed, yet from this body I will see God. Yes, I will see him with my own eyes, and I am overwhelmed at the thought. After Job prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his fortunes. In fact, the Lord gave him twice as much as before. He also gave Job seven more sons and three more daughters. In all the land, no women were as lovely as the daughters of Job. And Job lived 140 years after that, living to see four generations of his children and grandchildren. Then he died an old man who had lived a long, full life.